Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are back for some more Portal Stories Mill, where we are going to hopefully not get our heads knocked off by these, uh, panels. Apparently it takes six of these to make one weighted storage cube. Oh. Really? <laughs> I- <laughs> Okay then. I don't know where to go. I really thought that was the way to go. Oh, that- okay, duh. They want me to go through this part here. Possibly take these up? Yes! I'll take one for the road. been cut off here, but I think I can help. Just give me a moment. Yes, that worked. Let's get going. This reminds me of the day I ended up falling down into those junkyard offices. Dark room, no lights, hit the end of a management rail and down I went. Luckily I found you still alive in that vault or I'd have been stuck there forever. <laughs> so, thanks for that. Uh, it's kind of dark. I can't tell where I'm going. Careful! Careful! There's a hole in the floor ahead. Am I supposed to go down the hole? Oh, no. Okay. Just a bit further and we can get to the mainframe rooms. There should be a lever near that door to open it up. You ready, Mel? Uh oh. I'm sensing that this is near the end of the game or the halfway point. Who knows? Let's find out. You guys excited? Uh, look, Mel, uh, I just wanted to say something. I, I couldn't have done any of this without your help. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be stuck down there in the junkyard offices. Probably my battery backup would have run out in a few days. So, thanks. So, uh, let's get this done. Whatever happens, I believe in you. Really. Organic threat and mechanical threat number one detected in central hub. Countermeasures activating. Alright, so, in order to get to the Aegis core, we need to turn on the power, unlock the doors, and replace the turrets. Once that's done, we should have a clear shot at Aegis. Let's get going. Oh, 
are you? What the heck? How did I manage that? <laughs> wow, that's uh strange. Put me down. Periodic table. Authorized personnel only. Every vent in there is filled with those turrets. We pulled up every last one of them a long time ago. Hmm, I don't like the looks of this thing. That looks like an emancipation drill. Or a uh, laser ball. Nice to know that those still make sound. Oh, I see what's gonna happen. This is gonna turn into a laser ball, and then we're gonna have to walk along the tube to get past it. Awesome. Okay, Mel, I'm reading that the generators are offline. Only way that the security systems can come online is to turn on those generators. But, according to my research, the manual startup is over in the control room for Generator 2. And it's locked. The control room for Generator 1 has a manual security override, though. Give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? You mean this thing? Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. That was a bad idea. The security system's kicked in. You can't open the doors from the inside anymore. Hurry, find a way to turn that other generator on, and then get out of here! Oh, they tried to shoot at me from Oh... So I guess they were supposed to shoot at me there? Manual bypass does work, doesn't it? <laughs> Good work. That's the first part. The security systems are now online. Oh, wait. I didn't think this through, did I? to the security room overlooking the bridge to the Aegis core. Now that the security doors have unlocked, we should be able to get there. need to go to the security room overlooking the bridge to the Aegis Core. Now that the security doors have unlocked, we should be able to get there.
right, so uh, I think that might not be as easy as I once thought. Uh, Hades has done quite a bit of redecorating on these catwalks. Good thing you got a portal gun. be a straight shot to the core. Ah, right. 
to the turrets. Uh, well, it seems he's diverted all the power that was going to the death kisslers into the turret production. Which, hang on, that's not so bad. Get back to the elevator room. Time to turn the tables on Aegis. Alright, all that's left is those turrets. Remember how we pumped up the old turrets? This is where they might get useful. Head to the manufacturing line. Okay, here's the plan. We've got to take the turret production line down. So, there's about three ways I know to do this. The first should be easy and works most of the time. So, go into the scanner area and take the turret out. Without the model, the turrets can't be built. So that didn't work. Computers have a template still. Uh, which leads us to solution number two. Use one of the old turrets to overwrite the template. I can reprogram it to not shoot you. And before you know, you got an army. Ah, scratch that idea. Apparently there are no diversity events here. Which means I can't bring one in. I guess pumping up those turrets was a total waste of time. Lovely. So, third idea. We gotta override the targeting system on these ones. Manually. There's a targeting control room. It's nearby. Just be ready to run. I'll get the door open. Other side, and just remember the Nuremberg Olympics. running would do you good someday. Look, that wood model is what's causing the turret to shoot at humans. If you replace it with something else, they'll shoot that instead.
maybe try the server template. Oh my, you're clever. Now the turrets will target the server banks instead of you. If we wait a little bit, all the turrets in this part of the facility should be replaced. Allowing you to finally destroy Aegis. Well, why don't you test if the reprogramming worked? Stand in front of the model, one of two things will happen. The first, they won't shoot you. The second, uh, well, it, it shouldn't come to that, just, just trust me. There you are. Searching. Searching. Who's there? Are you still there, anyone? Alright! <laughs> that worked! Uh, I, I knew that would work! Uh, I totally knew it would work. Hmm. Oh, well, anyway, the turrets are ours now. Now get back to the elevator room again. Time to bring the fight to him. <laughs> 